your July spiritual reading. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys. Let's get straight into this. This reading is for spiritual growth, healing, and um, just really getting into yourself and learning where you need to grow. That's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, so this reading isn't for everyone. This is for people who are already on a spiritual growth or healing process or want to be. Okay, so let's get straight into here and see what's going on. We are using the Sacred Rebels, well, Sacred Rebels guidebook and cards. Okay, so. Okay, let's get straight in here, Aries, and see what's going on in yourself, Aries. Okay, and we have three cards. Here we go. Three cards coming out are Pandora's Gift, Focus on the Light, and softly, softly, the tender touch. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Getting straight into these cards, we have the Pandora's Gift. The Pandora's Gift is talking about this mystical woman. I'm going to put all the cards here so that way you can see them as I am explaining the card to you for better understanding. This right here is the mystical woman. Okay, she is all gifted. And she, of course, is Pandora. Okay, she has this yearning to conquer the chaos, the evil, the darkness with the light of knowledge, which is very interesting because you have the focus on the light, which is sitting right next to it. So very interesting. Okay, so she is the hopeful voice of our soul that asks the questions and in doing so triggers the process that brings the answers. Sometimes it is through uncomfortable learning that we find our treasure. So sometimes you have to go through these things in life that are uncomfortable. And so you need to, you know, really dig deep within yourself to figure out what that is so that you can get past that. Pandora reminds us that the process of learning can take us to places that seem like the end of our world and yet all is not lost. Even now, the light within you is stirring for new revelation, new life, and new adventure. Okay, so her gift is all gifting and all giving. So now is the time to surrender the misplaced guilt that you may have brought upon yourself or another's. Some terrible happening. It is time to let go of this shame-based belief in punishment. This is the belief that you deserve to be brought to a task over any perceived imperfection or that your natural human journey somehow renders you inadequate. So pretty much you need to stop shaming yourself. Things happen in life and you need to shrug off misery, despair, and weight of the world to recognize that she is the barrier of the true and beautiful light of peace, comfort, hope, and reassurance. Okay, this card is going to make you come to the realization that you too are divinely defiant, believer in hope, who shall cast off the works of anyone who seeks to torment you. So if you find that anyone is, you know, giving you the evil eye or however you, you know, condemning you or doing anything that seems harmful towards you and your soul, okay, or just mind, um, geez, anything, right? Anything that's really bad, we're going to learn to shrug that off. Okay, so that way you can focus on the light. So this card here is representing in this area right here any blocks or issues that you're working through to allow this process to happen. By getting rid of these blocks and this energy that people are putting upon you or that you're putting upon yourself of not being good enough or shaming yourself and maybe it's given, you know, through other people and making you believe things, you're going to get rid of that. Okay. So that way, when you look back on it later, it's not going to affect you the way it affects you now. It doesn't mean it's 100% gone. It just means that it's not emotionally affecting you the way that it did at a time, right? That's what letting go means. Okay, so with Pandora's gift, you have the Hierophant. So if this is the relationship with 
within you and spirit, God, universe, um, you're going to be more of a faith believer because that's what Pandora's gift is telling you. Believe in yourself. Um, don't, you know, focus on the negative things. Um, if this is within a relationship of however, it could be even a love relationship that has gone awry and left you feeling this way, let it go. Okay, because you're going to have the three of pentacles. This card to me is the power the powerful three in me. This is mind, body, and soul. So putting yourself on a pedestal to remember who you are, okay? And that's what Pandora's gift is going to make you understand is that you're here for a reason and holding on to all this negative stuff is not the reason you are here. Okay, so it's going to bring those three together and you're going to recognize yourself. Okay, and other people too will start recognizing you as being someone different as well. They're going to see the strength within you as you start doing these things. And yeah, it's going to be pretty recognizable. And you're also going to recognize yourself. And that's what's very important about this card is recognizing yourself for who you are. Okay, so over here you have the focus on the light. Focusing on the light, <clears throat> this card here is... The special message from the higher self and spiritual guides on this matter. Okay, so this is going to be that special message. So the special special message, excuse me, is remembering that what Pandora had to offer was bringing you towards the light to release all the negative darkness. So this is a tremendous force of light that is gathering around you. So <clears throat> having the faith and the belief and the powerful three in you, you're going to see how you're now attracting the light within yourself and that light seems to be projecting towards you and out of you. Okay. That's how others are going to recognize you is there's going to be this light. Um, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I just heard something. I, I could have been from one of you, soul spirits, somebody out there is going to say, how are they going to see the light in me? Okay. You know when you run into that pregnant woman and she's gleaming and gleaming and she's got this light about her and she looks so like different and she's bright. Um, we always know that face of a pregnant woman, right? Just gleaming and gorgeous, right? That's what you're going to be doing. You're going, to, people are going to notice that just like you see the face of a pregnant woman who's just beaming, right? <clears throat> so, but not only that, you're attracting the purity of your intention to create from your heart. As your intention grows, so does your light. And here's that attention. Because this is the card of, of what? Recognition, right? So, yeah. So what is happening within you at this time? The magic wants to happen for you now. This light just wants to just grab you and just beam out of you, okay? It's gonna completely consume you, okay? So you are drawn right to this light and this light is going to shine out of you. You might be startled as the interplay of light with your heart invokes many new successes and attracts an abundance of opportunities your way. You may need to adjust as the field of light grows stronger and its effects become more palpable. It may bring rather dramatic improvements into your world. You may be uncomfortable or feel out of your depths with these changes. So remember, you have to keep the belief system going because it might actually make you feel kind of uncomfortable because you're so used to being negative that you're gonna be like, whoa, you know? Why am I so positive? Okay, so yes, it might make you feel a little uncomfortable, but it's good. It's good. You just need to get rid of all of that. So do not resist this light. Do not go against your own belief system. Okay, and don't just hold it on for just a second and then totally let it go. Okay, so it says any resistance or fear will inhibit the continuing free flow of the light so that it can manifest its beautiful, I'm sorry, its beauty through you in the physical world where it is needed. So it would be a shame 
it would be definitely a shame to go through this whole process and then have fear of something um, that you're not used to to just go back to where you were before, right? Okay, so let's clarify on this with a tarot card. Clarify and focus on the light for Aries, please. Yes, nine of pentacles. Look at where you're being, you know, where you're going. Look at who you're becoming. Look at your entire existence as becoming the nine of pentacles. This is probably where the fear is going to come because all of a sudden you're going to feel this magnificent beauty coming out of you. Something you might not have felt for a long time. Um, people are going to see you as the nine of pentacles because remember you're getting recognition and reward. And maybe it kind of pushes you back um, into your little, you know, maybe like a little cave that you have that you're hiding in. Um, but you don't want to do that because they're seeing the light shining out of you as the Nine of Pentacles. And all these great opportunities are coming towards you. And this might already be happening for you. And you might be saying, that's what's going on. That's why. Okay, because it's going to definitely bring Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So, yes, it's bringing in these new achievements, these new opportunities, these new things surrounding you. Might even be a new frame of mind. Um, once you really get in, you know, indwelled inside of it, you will have a different frame of mind because that's where that powerful three in you is going to really start shining. Okay. Once you really let it, you know, develop inside you softly, softly, the tender touch. Now, what a beautiful card this is. She's literally crying. What we ask, why is she crying? You know, why is she crying? This card is actually the guidance for bringing this process into the practical manifestation in my life, which we were talking about over here that says allow this to manifest so that you can continue to be the Nine of Pentacles and have the Ten of Pentacles coming up. So straight from nine, straight to ten. Okay, so very, you know. And this card is three plus seven, which is ten again. So lots of tens, which are new beginnings. Okay, so this card, of course, is 20. So the softly, softly, the tender touch is a 20. So it's definitely going to be 2 plus 0 is 2. So it's going to bring this balance. And it makes me feel like she does feel balanced. She finally feels like herself. She finally feels like she has done something for herself. Um, let's see what it says. It says, the feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. When we are... A, at a point in life where we want to attain greater things, but don't necessarily have the proportionally great supply of energy at our disposal. Like I said, proportionally. What is that? That's a band. That's part of balance, right? So you need to feel like you are balanced, okay? And you want this, but you have the energy going back and forth, back and forth. So you need to balance that energy within yourself. We are generally taught that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we will achieve. The feminine way is not about force, nor is it about driving, striving, pushing, or grabbing at what we can in order to create. So it doesn't want you to just go out there and just start pushing and pulling and grabbing, you know, at everything. It wants you to do it proportionately. Allow things to come you know, when it's supposed to come, allowing space for things to develop. It says it is about inviting that, that in which we wish for to come into the space we have provided it for. Yeah. You wish for it to come. Now you're going to wait for that chariot to come in and give it to you. Okay. This is less stressful and it attracts what we desire without having any kind of negative force or putting out too much energy into something. Okay, it's more by invitation than by will or force. So that is exactly what's going to happen. So you're inviting the light in, and now you're waiting for your gifts to be given. I believe that she is tearful because she is getting what she had wished for. So, you know, I'd asked before, why do we think she is crying? She's crying because she knew that when she went through a process, that when she actually waited 
for the perfect timing and did the things the right way, things started happening for her. That's what it looks like in the card. It looks like she knew that things were happening. She was giving no attention to the fear, to the things she didn't have. She wasn't giving any negative attention to anything or trying to force anything to happen that either wasn't good for her or wasn't ready for her to have. So when they started coming in, I believe this card is representing, wow, I waited, I did the work, I did everything I was supposed to do. I've learned now how to do things. And look at what I'm getting. How beautiful is that? Right? How beautiful is that? So let's look and see what it's going to do for you, Aries. So we learn all these techniques and knowing that there is a timing for everything. Everything in the universe is timed. So let's see what's going on for you. Yep, there it is, temperance. What did I just say? Perfect timing. Waiting for the perfect timing. Putting in the healing process that you need while you are waiting for everything to come together. So as you're bringing in the light and you're becoming the Nine of Pentacles, as you're keeping the faith and keeping the power of yourself together and allowing others to recognize this light that's coming out of you, you are also going to be in a healing process and a learning process. Okay, of waiting for things to come together as the universe builds you, you know, its own tapestry, its own, you know, spider web, however you want to see it, its own sweater. It is building things for you. Yeah, you know, spider doesn't build a spider a spider web in, you know, in a whole day. <clears throat> But it seems like it, right? So yes, you're going to do that. And while you're doing that, you're getting a death card. So you are actually, ooh, that's very beautiful because that means that you're actually taking a transformation while going through this whole thing. And I believe the transformation is also the understanding of everything that's going on and how to keep everything aligned and keeping everything balanced. And the new way of thinking and doing things is giving you this beautiful transformation of letting go of those things. So you're letting go to bring in the light, to wait for everything to come together. There it is. Everything come together. Nine of Cups. And, wow. So, okay, not only now do you have the, the Ten of Pentacles, you also have the Nine of Cups. So maybe your Ten of Pentacles was where you need to be. And then it's going to actually give you the things that you were actually wanting things you were asking for um, without force. And that was the reading for you, Aries, and I hope that you enjoyed that. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.